Hey, hey, just arriving here in London, headed off to the airport. We're gonna get a good night's rest tonight because tomorrow we're going to see John Wesley's house. We're gonna do some touring. We'll drink some coffee. I don't know what we're gonna do, but you're gonna go with us. Then later on this week, I'll be with Betty King, who's a dear friend. Uh, she's got a great prayer ministry here in London. I met her last time I was here a year ago. So you're gonna go on a journey with us. You're gonna see what it's like when I take a few days off. Here we are in London, Awakening House of Prayer, representing in the UK, Prophet Vanessa walking down the street. Hello, We're having an off day today. Just checking it out. Nero Coffee makes Starbucks look pitiful in Europe. We're having a good time. Double Duck Bus. Gotta get the hair on fleek. It is so loud here. It is so cold here. Prophet Vanessa is giving me dirty looks. Pastor Austin, I should have brought you instead. All in my hair. <laughs> they didn't even cover it now. It's all over. All over in my hair. In my hair. So we are lost. We're lost. We've been walking around for 12 hours. We started at the crack of dawn trying to find Buckingham Palace and we are lost. Lost. Vanessa, where are we? I don't know. Right here. I'll teach you. Well, I'm not lost. I'm found. We're lost. No, we're not. Hey guys, remember I've been talking to you in the last vlog about water spirits. And here behind me, we see what essentially is a merman spirit. So everywhere you go in the world, you see the operations of the spirit of Jezebel. You see the operations of water spirits. Uh, this is a merman spirit, which in the Bible is Dagon. You can read about Dagon. It was the god that the Philistines uh, uh, served. And so I talk a lot more about the merman spirit, which is essentially like a mermaid, but the, the male is called the merman. And I'll show you a picture of that here uh, in just a minute. So yeah, that's the, the merman spirit. I encourage you to go to read about that. We've got a brand new book coming out on this. Uh, it's called Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Water Spirits. They're also called marine demons. And you'll see these as I travel all over the world. You'll see the influence of water spirits. Uh, and I thought, thought that was interesting. Check it out. These things might be affecting you. And by the way, this merman spirit is just outside Buckingham Palace in the outer court. And so we see such an influential, iconic uh, a landmark in a nation and water spirits uh, surrounding it essentially greeting people. Say hello to my bloggers. Hi. I mean the people that watch my vlog. I'm being starved to death and I'm in desperate need of coffee. It's freezing. It's windy. My feet hurt. My backpack weighs a ton. Her backpack weighs a ton. She makes me carry hers also. And that Like I said, the only thing worse than a complaining prophet is the devil. So here we are in Trafalgar Square. You gotta check out the bookstores. Everywhere I go in the world, I like to see what people are reading, what people are into. It's different kind of different choices in different places, so this is all very heady and, well, I don't know, behavioral. So uh, we'll keep looking around. Wood spirit, really? These are the kind of things people understand. It's a water spirit, and we've written about this, I've talked about this, it's in my new book, Defeating Water Spirits. So here, before I go around the world, I see people celebrating these things, and uh, my book's gonna knock this one off. 
Hey guys, day two. We're heading into London, going to Marble Arch, which I can tell you a whole story about that now, but I won't. We're going to ride the big double-decker bus today, and what's we're gonna do? Well, you'll find out. We'll be having some fun today. Go along with us. Yes, this is proof that I do indeed rest. Praise God, I rest all over the world. Work hard, play hard. That's our motto. Say hello. So this is how we walk after the first day. So here we are on the double-decker bus. Say hello, prophet. We didn't get a headset. You know, one of the things I really like about London is the architecture. Many don't know that when I was a journalist, I used to write for Architectural Record Magazine, and I had an opportunity to write about the great architectures of the world, the architects and the uh, the architecture. And so being here, an opportunity to see some of the stuff that I've written about firsthand, and it's really thrilling, and really it's just a clean city uh, compared to New York, and I love New York, but uh, being here, it's like, uh, somewhat more special obviously difficult for us to get to not as easy for us to get to maybe once once a year but just check this out I was just passing by a sign it said strike hard strike short it was something I suppose uh, from World War II uh, and uh, the name Winston Churchill was standing out but I think that's what we have to do uh, with regard to prayer you know you strike hard and strike sure I feel the whole prophetic message uh, coming out of that really uh, prophetic in nature strike hard strike sure see you know even when here I'm on vacation I'm spiritually attuned to what's going on around me and strike hard strike sure look for a message or prophecy it's really bubbling forth in my spirit uh, many of you right now need to strike hard and strike sure I'll be back with you on that with more uh, later some other venue You really want to know what it's like traveling with a hostel? <laughs> it's always an adventure. Never a dull moment. Look past Austin, we found you. The goat. See how we think of you when we travel? All right, we just had to get off the bus to take a coffee break. We've not been showing you our coffee adventures. We've been lax. And so I have to say the best coffee in all of London, all of America, all of the world is Pret a Manger. I'm sure I'm butchering that. It's probably French. I don't know what it's called. Pret works for me. This is the best coffee ever. It's organic. They give you pouring cream. You know, it's really hard in uh, London, Singapore, around the world to find um, cream. Everybody likes to give us milk in our coffee. No bueno. Necesita crema. And so here, I'm not going to show you how I make my coffee, but I am going to go drink it. So hope you enjoyed it. Let's say hello to Prophet Vanessa. Well, this man, John Wesley, Anglican clergyman, scholar, poet, evangelist, built his preaching house in the 18th century. Here we are in John Wesley's prayer room. This is where he prayed for several hours a day when he got up at 4 a.m. every morning. Many of you know I get up at 4 a.m. and I'm emulating at whatever degree I can John Wesley's prayer life. Of course, I don't claim that my prayer life is anywhere near his, but I've tried to get up very early and do that same sort of thing. I just came out of touring John Wesley's house. Uh, you saw a little bit of that on the inside. Uh, we went into a service and uh, the scripture reading was from Genesis 3. Uh, when, the, uh, when the devil, when the serpent uh, spoke to Eve and said, your eyes can be opened. And really, I got a revelation there as I began to press into the seer realm. The Lord began to show me hidden uh, things, secret places, mysteries of God. You know, the, the very first sin, if you, if you look at it from this perspective, was uh, the, 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 the woman, mankind, allowing the enemy to open their eyes instead of seeing what God wanted them to see. God lets us see what he wants us to see. The enemy wants us to see something totally different. By the same token, 
we can look into the spirit realm through the Holy Spirit who shows us things to come or we can look in illegally that's what psychics do so I want to caution you as we press in together you'll see me teaching preaching on the seer realm please 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 always enter uh, uh, legally through the Holy Spirit and you can do that the Holy Spirit wants you to see that's why we launched the school of the seers is to teach you the right way to enter into the spirit realm not through the enemy opening your eyes not through witchcraft not through divination and what's really interesting is the python the, the, the serpent I'm not saying it was a python in the garden but the serpent is unto a python in other words the, the the python is a serpent and the python spirit is a spirit of divination of witchcraft and so uh, you, you sort of look at it all from that perspective and the first sin was uh, man allowing the enemy to open his eyes rather than looking at what God was showing him serpent python you be the judge something to consider press in legally schooled spirit.tv